Hello everyone, how are you doing today? This is Farhan from the Designer's Law. Today we are gonna make a red blood mask in Photoshop. Actually this is a photo for a YouTube channel's photo assignment where the topic was red and you probably guessed which channel. Anyway, I thought why not make a tutorial about it. You will see, this is gonna be interesting. So let's get started. This is a selfie that I took in front of my window and there was no indoor light. It was a cloudy day so you can see it's kinda dark. Also if I zoom in, you can see the picture quality isn't that great since I took it with my smartphone. But relax, it will get better, I promise. Ok first make a copy by pressing Ctrl or Command and J, you know just for backup. Now I need to select me, I mean I need to select the subject. Select any selection tool and then click select and mask. Set the view to on black. If it is 100% that means everything which is not selected is black just like the mask. I will lower it down so that I can see myself. Now with the quick selection tool just select the subject. If you hold alter option you can minus unnecessary areas. For the hair we will use the refine edge tool. Just click and drag and photoshop will do the rest. Once you're happy with the selection, set the output to new layer with layer mask and then hit OK. So that we can have a separate layer with a mask. As you can see the selection isn't perfect, uh, not even close so we need to fix that. If I put a black solid in the background, you can see it clearly. So select the mask, select the brush tool and start fixing it. Just a reminder, in mask black hides and white shows. I'm not gonna bore you with the full selection process, you can take your time and refine it. We don't need a perfect selection so don't waste too much time here. Ok now the selection is done, we will make it black and white. Click the adjustment icon and select black and white. You know I always love to work with black, white and red. If you want to focus something, this is the best combo. I used black, white and red in lot of my drawings. Anyway, now let's cry, I mean let's add some blood here. Create a new layer and select the brush tool. For the red color, use this coat and just draw something like this. It's kinda too sharp, so I will blur it. Go to filter, blur and then Gaussian blur. Select a suitable amount. There are a few ways that you can use to look like it's blood. Double click in the layer and open the layer style dialog box. Go to bevel and emboss and you can try these different sliders. But in this tutorial I will do it manually so that I can have more control. We have the base now but it looks flat. We need to add dimension. You can watch this tutorial where we created a lightsaber effect. You can learn more about how to add dimensions on a flat surface. The link is in the description. Anyway, on a new layer, I will paint with white so that it looks like reflection. Also, I will paint with darker red only in the edges. Once you are done, then blur it. Now again, I will create a new layer and paint with lighter red. This time I will paint only in the middle and then blur it. Also I think I need to lower the opacity. I will group this, select these three layers and press Ctrl and G. I will name it left eye just for our convenience. Now I will do the same for the right eye. You see you need to make that here bigger than the real life. If I make it look like real then when I zoom out you can hardly see it. So make it a little bigger so that it can be noticeable. Ok now we will draw blood in the mask. It's really simple. Create a new layer, select the red color that we used earlier for the tear. And now just paint. You need to change the blend mode. I will select color burn. You can try different blend modes and see which one suits for your photo. 
since the blood is coming from this side and from this side so paint accordingly also do not paint in the middle you can lower the flow or opacity to paint in the edges so that it has a smoother transition. As you can see here, the blood tear is coming above the mask, but the mask should consume any liquid. So here also we need to remove it. Select the left eye group. Create a mask. Select the brush tool and black as the foreground color. Just remove the area that we don't need. Also what you can do, lower the opacity and then remove it. In this way we can have a smooth transition. I will do the same for the right eye. Easy peasy, isn't it? Also you can do this. Create a new layer, hold all to option and click to take a sample. Then just paint a little here. Just to make things look smoother. Now select the left and right tier group. I think I need to lower the opacity. Now we can go to camera raw filter. But before we go there, we need to merge everything into one layer. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E to merge all layers. We will convert it to a smart object so that if I want to change anything later, I can do that. Now go to filter and then camera raw filter. Just play with these sliders. Do not worry about anything like losing details or blah 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 blah. Just, just do it. Once you are done moving these sliders, then just hit OK. I know we add camera raw filter at the very end, but is there any rules? No, we make rules. So I will add a curve and increase the contrast. What do we mean by increasing contrast? It means making shadows darker and highlights brighter. I want my hair blend in with the background. Again I am saying this, do not worry about the details. This is art. Do what you like. This is not for my client, so I can do whatever I like. Now the problem is, the red is too red. So create a hue saturation adjustment layer and reduce the saturation. But I want it to affect only that here, so I will mask it out. Press Ctrl and I to invert the mask and then just paint with white in the tear areas so that it will only affect the tear. Also I think the blood is too saturated. So again create a hue saturation adjustment layer, pick red and just reduce the saturation. Ok now let's add some shine in the eyes. Select the brush tool and white as a foreground color just paint. We are enhancing the shine. I want to take it away from the white from the dark areas. So double click on the layer. It opens the layer style dialog box. In the underlying layer slider, move the left slider to the right. So it will take away the white from the current layer from the dark areas of the underlying layer. Hold alt or option and click to break the slider and make the transition smoother. Ok now let's add some blood here. We are trying to add some details. You know we already lost a lot of details so why not. Create a new layer. Hold the alter option to take a sample and paint just like this. We can do some dodging and burning right. So create a curve and drag it up. Press Ctrl and I to invert it. This is for dodging. Create another curve and this time drag it down. This is for burning. Now select the brush tool, select white, lower the flow and do some dodging and burning. You don't have to do much, just a touch. We know the concept of mask, black heights and white shows. I am just trying to enhance the dimension. Ok now I think we can stop here. We did a lot of things. So this is the before and this is the after. Isn't that amazing? I am amazing. Or am I? Nah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like and subscribe. It really helps me to create new tutorials for you. Thank you so much for watching.